just arrived in Chicago. Got that uh, shot as the sun is coming up on the city. I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer. It's amazing how open this area is as far as flights go. I got um, FA approval through Lance for that last one and it looks like most of the city is open. So we'll be able to hopefully get some skyscrapers in the early morning golden hour. Perfect, perfect day for this. I've forgotten how aggressive city drivers can be. It's been a while since I've been in a large city with the car. So while I'm looking for a spot, I have to be aware of my surroundings. I'm not familiar with this city, so I don't know exactly where the bump you in the head and take your drone parts are. But uh, fingers crossed, that didn't happen and you're watching this video. <laughs> I'm anxious to get close to downtown because there's still some early morning clouds hovering around the tops of the skyscrapers and that would be awesome. I'd love to fly the Sears Tower if I could. Make a goal like the Bat Building. Here's the Bat Building. All right, you ready for a field goal? Yup, I'm ready. All right, I'm, here we go. I'm rolling. All right. Where you at? There he is. I saw you go through. <laughs> ah, that was a good day. Maybe I can do the same thing with the Sears Tower. Is it still called the Sears Tower? Oh, there's so much cool stuff around here. Oh, look at all the cool stuff. As you can see, there's an awesome building right there that I want to fly. Of course, it's windy. It's the Windy City. I do have FAA permission through Lance, believe it or not. And uh, there's a lot of people walking around. So all I could do if I did it would be to just go straight up and straight down from right where I am. If I did it from in there, yeah, I could just go straight up, get a view of that. Yeah, let's do it. Clever little tricks like this where nobody's gonna be walking or I won't be flying over anyone yet. I can still get a good view of that awesome building. And away we go. Straight up, straight down. Well, how about that? It's not letting me go any higher than that. Must be a geofence. Oh yeah, look, it says can't take off. So even though I have approval, there's some other thing preventing me from getting a shot of that thing. Ooh, I can't give up so easily. Well, he was really helpful, that guy right there. So yeah, I'm, I'm parked here. The idea was covered people try it from here, from over at that park there. So I need to find a different place to park. But I don't want to uh, mess with the extraordinary power of the doorman. Does the doorman's powers extend beyond the door? I'm going to circle around the building one more time. The best day to do these types of things is on a Sunday when nobody's working and there's not that many people downtown, but you can still do it legally. And this is the kind of stuff that I usually edit out. What the L is going on? Get it? Because it's the L evaded. Eh. There are absolutely no parking places in this city. The best I can do is tall building adjacent. Okay, I found a little patch of park. That I can take off from. It's out of everybody's way. Now I have to calibrate the compass. <laughs> well, it, it won't let me uh, calibrate the compass. It has strong electromagnetic interference. 
and I have tried it 11 times. So it doesn't look like this is going to be possible right now. One more try, one more try over here. Come on, 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 come on. Nope. And the wind is picking up too, so better safe than sorry though. Well, this is Don, and uh, he's gonna touch those buildings over there. So believe it or not, this is a free and clear airspace, as you can see here on AirMap. And we're gonna use the Lance system to get approval to fly. Now, of course, you don't wanna fly over people or moving cars or any of that. So um, we're not gonna go zip zipping around. I'm just gonna go up, I'm gonna show you, what's the name of the stadium? This is Soldier Field over here where the Chicago Bears play. Right, right. I knew that. No, I, I didn't know that. So now Don will use the power of his mind to start up the drone. <laughs> oh, you're good, man. I read a lot of X-Men. So over to the left is Soldier Field. Soldier Field. Yes, to our south will be Soldier Field. Look at that. It looks like a giant UFO landed on top of a Roman Colosseum. It does. There's one dude over in the field. He's just walking around. But I won't fly over him. It wouldn't do down there. Bye, everybody. So we found a, a nice clearing here in the middle of the city. Isn't that nice? It was nice of them to clear this whole park out for us. It's roped off and everything. Yeah. Very pretty. And there's a wonderful view of the Sitang. You want to wave? Let's wave. I don't think it can see us. Can it see us? I don't think so. I'll, I'll digitally zoom in. Ah, there we are. There we are. Man, that is a great fountain. Uh oh. I got to pee.
Is this marble? Like, is it a marble? It could be. You can stop it and move it. Oh my God, this is the coolest thing ever. It is, it's, wow, man, that is awesome. It's floating on water. Well, we had an interesting day and this is like a, a giant period at the end of the day. See, it's like shaped like a, yeah. So, uh, thanks, Don, appreciate it. Wet handshake for you. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, hope you had a ball. <laughs> I see what you did there. Where are you from? Tell the people where you're from. I was born in Chicago, and I now live back in Birmingham, Alabama. Okay, and, uh, that's where he knows me from, from the old Beaner and Ken days. Here's a little bit of video of what I looked like back then. Well, Rick, looks like Beaner's doing a good job working on my... He's doing an all right job working on my car back there. I'm tied up, Briarwood. All right, back to you. Oh, no. Oh, I did not age well. Not at all. Pretty city. Pretty city, Chicago. Deep dish pizza. Mm. That's not pizza. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Do you think deep dish pizza is really pizza? Or is it just a big bucket of mush? <laughs>